say something to you. Can't hide from me. There you are.
Worthless mercenaries. I didn't think Maven or Mercer would allow me to get away with them. But I had little choice. Worthless mercenaries. I didn't think Maven or Mercer would allow me to get away with this, but I had little choice. I can't. If I do, I may as well cut my own throat. Fine. Once the new owner finds out I gave in, I'm as good as dead anyway. I've already said too much. I gave you what you came in here for, now go. Leave me in peace.
want to talk to you. Now. You've made a mess of things, and Maven's furious. I told you not to burn more than three of the hives. I've smoothed things over with her for now, but you can forget your cut. You've made a mess of things, and Maven's furious. I told you not to burn more than three of the hives. I've smoothed things over with her for now, but you can forget your cut. made a mess of things, and Maven's furious. I told you not to burn more than three of the hives. I've smoothed things over with her for now, but you can forget your cut. At least you remembered one of the things I asked. Let me see that. Arangoth sold Golden Glow? What's that idiot thinking? He has no idea the extent of Maven's fury when she's been cut out of a deal. But I'm certain he'll find out. If only the parchment had the buyer's name instead of this odd symbol. Any idea what that might be? Blast. Well, I'll check my sources and speak to Mercer. But for now, you're off to speak to Maven Blackbriar. She asked for you by name. <laughs> if it was like that, she wouldn't be asking for you. She'd be calling on the Dark Brotherhood. It's just business. That's between you and Maven. And I prefer to keep it that way. Just keep your ears open and your mouth shut, and you'll do fine. Let's talk for a moment. Wait. I know you. Wait. I know you. There's no mistake. You're a wanted woman, and it's time to pay for you. I can make all your problems done. Now move along before you get me in trouble. Divine smile on you, friend. Be brief, Imperial. There's only so long I can stand being downwind of your stench. So Imperial you're the one bastard. that burned down Golden Glow Estate. The only reason we're having this conversation is due to Brynjolf's assurance you won't botch another assignment. He claims you possess some sort of uncanny aptitude for your line of work. Quite frankly, I find that hard to believe. Is that confidence I hear? Or is it arrogance? Strange how often they're confused. You have to understand. It's been a long time since Brynjolf sent me anyone I can rely on. Faith. I don't have faith in anyone. All I care about is cause and effect. Did the job get done and was it done correctly? There's no gray area. I hope not. This is an important job. I have a competitor called Hunning Brumidery that I want to put out of business. I also want to know how they managed to get the place up and running so quickly. Head to the Bannered Mare in Whiterun and look for Malus Machius. He'll fill you in on all the details. One more time, in case I wasn't clear. You butcher this job and you will be sorry.
Can't a man drink in peace? I'm gonna keep this short, because we've got a lot to do. Haunting Brew's owner, Sabjorn, is about to hold a tasting for Whiterun's Captain of the Guard, and we're going to poison the mead. No, no, that's the beauty of the whole plan. We're going to get Sabjorn to give it to us. The meadery has quite a pest problem, and the whole city knows about it. Pest poison and mead don't mix well, you know what I mean? You're going to happen by and lend poor old Sabjorn a helping hand. He's going to give you the poison to use on the pests, but you're also going to dump it into the brewing vat. Maven and I spent weeks planning this. All we need is someone like you to get in there and get it done. Now get going before Sabjorn grows a brain and hires someone else to do the dirty work. Remember, Sam. What are you gawking at? Can't you see I have problems here? Are you kidding me? Look at this place. I'm supposed to be holding a tasting of the new hunting brew reserve for the captain of the guard. If he sees the meadery in this state, I'll be ruined. Oh, really? And I don't suppose you'd just do it out of the kindness of your heart, would you? I hope you're not expecting to get paid until the job's done. Oh, very well. Here's half. You'll get the rest when the job's done. I bought some poison. I was going to have my lazy good-for-nothing assistant Malice handle it, but he seems to have vanished. Uh, I bought some... If you plant this in the vermin's nest, it should stop them from ever coming back. Don't come back until every one of those things are dead. Now I... Got to clean up this mess.
you need to sample some of the finest... Was something we discussed unclear? Well, it's about time. I had to stall the captain until you were finished. You'll just have to wait until after the captain's finished. I suppose you can wait around if you must. I can't wait to see Sabjorn squirm. Well, Sabjorn, now that you've taken care of your little pest problem, how about I get a taste of some of your mead? Help yourself, my lord. It's my finest brew yet. I call it Hunting Brew Reserve. I think you'll find it quite pleasing to your palate. Oh, come now. This is mead, not some wine to be sipped and savored. By the eight. What... what's in this? I... I don't know. What's wrong? You assured me this place was clean. I'll see... see to it that you remain in irons for the rest of your days. No, please. I don't understand. Silence, idiot. I should have known better to trust this place after it's been riddled with filth. I beg you, please. This is not what it seems. You. You're in charge here until I can sort this all out. It will be my pleasure. And you! I haven't heard you're coming with me to Dragon's done. Reach. Have you done it? We'll see how quickly your memory clears in the city's prisons. Now, move. Look, I assure you this is all just a huge misunderstanding. I said, move! Farewell, Sabjorn. What are you doing that for? I don't think that could have gone any better. Anything else you need before you head back to Riften? So, Maven wants to hunt down Sabjorn's private partner, huh? You're welcome to take a look around Sabjorn's office. He keeps most of his papers stashed in his desk. Here, this should help. I thought it would be better to leave some of the details out of our previous discussion. Didn't want to risk you walking away from the job. Besides, you've done Maven a favor getting rid of him, and saved me from wasting coin hiring someone else to do it later. Start changing it over to the Blackbriar Meadery West as soon as possible. That was Maven's part of the deal. She's put me in charge of keeping the mead flowing, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. If you're in the area, and you ever need anything fenced, you just let me know. Remember to put in a good word with Maven for me. I can't believe that worked.
Ain't no doubt about it. Thieves guild is back, and they got rift. Ben. I trust you have good news for me? This doesn't tell me much. The only thing that could identify Sabjorn's partner is this odd little symbol. Well, whoever this mysterious marking represents, they'll regret starting a war with me. You should bring this information to the Thieves' Guild immediately. There's also the matter of your payment. I believe you'll find this more than adequate for your services. Out of my way. Word on the street is that poor Sabjorn has found himself in Whiterun's prison. How unfortunate for him. Exactly. Now you're beginning to see how our little system works. Maven sent word that you discovered something else while you were out there. Something important to the guild? Then this is beyond coincidence. First Arangoth, and now Sabjorn. Someone's trying to take us down by driving a wedge between Maven and the guild. Mercer thinks he knows a way to identify this new thorn in our side. He wants to meet with you right away. And if I were you, I'd hurry. I've never seen him this angry before. No time for idle chatter. Mercer, awaiting your presence. 